Well, welcome back to Casual Armory. Today, we are going to disassemble uh, the action on this gun and clean up some of this sticky oil residue. So, first thing we want to do, obviously, the action has no rounds in it. We're clean and clear there. Now, there's a couple of ways to take the bolt out. Um, a couple of places say you have to remove the action from the stock before the bolt will come out. Uh, another place said lock the bolt in place, pull the trigger, and then slide the bolt back. And comes out just like that. Now, on the bottom, we've got one action screw. An interesting thing about this, it's knurled, so it can be uh, run down with your fingers, but also I noticed that uh, the cut in the top is uh, a little weird, and sure enough, it's designed for, according to uh, the internet and all their scholars, it's designed for a penny to be used to loosen the screw which I thought was uh, pretty creative if these are uh, uh, were originally intended to be a, a youth rifle. I um, thought that was kind of kind of interesting. Now, the action screw out. The action slips out of the stock like that. The trigger is actually hinged with this little pin right here. You can see the pin goes all the way through the stock and captures the trigger right there. So, super simple design, nothing at all fancy, made for an inexpensive rifle. Alright, so let's set the stock to the side. And basically what we've got left is we've got the little uh, extractor and a spring. So. I'm just going to lift up on the spring a little bit. And this Boy, that spring is really tight. Alright. So, there's your little extractor. It rides with the bolt and just pulls the rim of the cartridge out of the, out of the chamber. So, there's basically our three parts. And they look pretty good with the exception of this is chrome plated and that is all just dried up oil and grease so let's uh let's get some cleaning materials and we're basically just going to use uh some hops gun cleaner and let's see how this works out spray a little bit of that and uh get some of my little cloth pads and we'll get to cleaning so hold on all right so i got a couple of patches and Let's see how this works. Oh, that's how much gunk we've pulled off so far. Let's get a little more. discoloration a lot of the gunk has come off so let's uh since the extractor felt a little sticky we'll run some cleaner on it all right a fair amount of dirt came off that We've got that, and maybe I've got a 
shotgun bore mop, which will work really good for getting down into this raceway for the bolt. So let me check and see if I got a, a shotgun mop. See? That one's a little too tight. Well, since that one's a little too tight, I may just have to do it by hand. So let's just get some cleaner on here. Now the bolt and the caulking piece is completely free and it doesn't seem to be any, any binding whatsoever. You can see the little firing pin right there and yep, everything's nice and free and moving. So a uh, bunch of people caution about taking the bolt apart bolt seems to be fairly difficult to come apart and fairly difficult to put back together um, so with it moving nice and free I think I'm just gonna put a few dabs of oil and uh, we'll work from there And this is just hops gun oil. So we'll lube up down through there. Let that soak in. Yeah. She's nice and free. We'll put some oil back here where the caulking piece comes through the end of the bolt. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's put some light oil on the bolt body. And this will help it travel through the receiver, but it'll also help it uh, in storage. This oil, I don't think, breaks down over time, or at least not, not terribly, and you don't need a whole lot. I just kind of drip it on and then rub it all in nice. It seems to give a nice even coat all over the, without having it to the point where it's dripping off when you set the gun up. So, all right. So there's that. Oh, that is, that is much smoother. All right. So with that, we can put this piece back in. And again, just like the other, a little bit of oil. Always good. So put a little bit of oil there. Rub it all in, both sides. All right. Now, cocking piece goes in first. Of course, it helps to go the correct direction. All right. So there's the cocking piece reinstalled. We can go ahead and reinstall the bolt, which, there we go.
that is cycling pretty darn good. So, let's do one more quick wipe down, get any last excess oil off of it, and then we'll put it back in the stock. And we will set this out to take to the range. Oh, one more thing, with the finish pretty much gone, but no corrosion on the barrel, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the whole barrel down with oil just to keep keep any fingerprints or anything from uh, from corroding. When it's in the white like this, it can really tarnish very, very quickly. So just a little bit of oil on a pad and just a nice thin coat of oil all over the barrel then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with a barrel in the white because it can't stay in the white it will always want to tarnish so we may may send this off to be reblued because this is uh i think this is a neat little rifle and We should try to preserve it. So, all right. So there's everything oiled up, bolts clean, bolts functioning. The stickiness is actually this spring right here. You can see it needs to overcome this spring to close and open. And boy, that spring is very, very stout. So, all right, let's put it back in the stock, and I'll set this up to take to the range. And sure enough, look at that. That groove was cut for a penny. And you can tell the groove does not come out the end of the screw. This was designed to be taken down with a penny. That's pretty, pretty neat. All right, I'll catch you next time.